Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can match player spawns with helicopter spawns and you can use this same technique to match player spawns with um, car spawns as well um, because at the moment as of sort of the 20th, 21st of February 2020 we haven't figured out how to match helicopter spawns with player spawns or car spawns with player spawns or anything else really <laughs> with player spawns but something we have done and I've done it and lots of other people have done it is you can match your player spawns with the helicopter spawn so you can put players where helicopter spawn and you can put players where cars spawn and then you could make sure that the helicopter spawn in and the cars spawn in so every time a fresh player spawns in if you want to you can do it with helicopters or cars and they can be next to them when they spawn in and obviously the big advantage of cars is that you can you know with with some other videos um that, that are online and including mine you can spawn in next to a car that's got stuff in the boot so you can have like weapons and food and stuff in there with helicopter crashes we haven't figured out how to spawn in specific stuff with helicopter crashes but high-end military loot tend to spawn with helicopter crashes so it's a good place to spawn and i think it's quite a good story as well isn't it to spawn in as a fresh player on a helicopter crash because it's like you know you've you've crashed on the Chernarus or Livonia and your adventure will begin so as you can see I'm already in the final browser on my Nitrado uh, Daisy uh, private server for Xbox or in this case PlayStation so I'm going to go into the Chernarus map again it would be Enoch for Livonia and what we're going to do is we're going to download a couple of files first so we're going to download the CF uh, player spawn points .xml. I've already stopped the server by the way um, and uh, I'd always recommend that you um, download these files and edit them locally. It's just a little bit easier than trying to do it on the uh, on the, on the website. In fact, what I'm going to do because I've actually already downloaded them. Let's just get rid of these ones, and then we can start completely from scratch. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. So player spawn point. So let's download that. And then the other one we want to download is the event spawn points up here cf event spawns just down that download that as well and then the uh, text editor i'm using is notepad plus uh, plus this is a hint from don sibley games uh, it's a really nice text editor that makes it easier to, to distinguish between what's going on in the xml file so let's open up the player spawns file see it does things in different colors it's very nice and then let's open up the event spawns file so if we look at the player spawns file it has a good explanation of how daisy spawns players in and then you've got this big list of possible coordinates so the way that the players spawn in daisy is the game looks at these coordinates and then works out near to those coordinates where would be a safe place for a player to spawn in because Bear in mind that there might be zombies there, there could be other players there, there could be cars there, somebody could have built a building, <laughs> they could build, build a base there. So it doesn't want to spawn you in, you know, into a glitch or inside a base or anything like that. So that's why you never quite spawn in the same place, you'll often be somewhere different. Um, and then if we look at the event spawns, again, say this is the vehicle, civilian sedan, these are all the possible places it can spawn in. now. The way that it spawns in vehicles is it will pick, um, depending on how many of these events are meant to happen and how many of these vehicles, in this case, are meant to be on the map, it will pick a place to put one randomly. So you don't get all of the cars in all of the positions. Um, and what we found is you can't, you can't spawn vehicles or so far we have found you have you can't spawn vehicles or you and you can't spawn for example helicopter crashes on the coordinates that are in the player um, coordinates it just doesn't seem to work and we're not quite sure why yet so that's why we do it the other way where we spawn players with heli crashes and players with cars rather than the other way around however the other trick that we use is because when you want the player to spawn in with the helicopter crash or with the car you always want a helicopter crash to be there and you always want a car to be there so the way that we get around that is instead of the car spawn or the helicopter spawn being a random event we make sure that there's always a helicopter crash at that spawn point there's always a car at that spawn point so it's not random anymore 
The problem with this is it puts quite a lot of strain on the server because you could have, if you used all the points that you see, if you find the helicopter crash, for example, which is the one we're going to do, you can see that there's loads, there's probably, I don't know, 70 different helicopter crash spawn points. We, it would be um, wrong to try and spawn in a, a helicopter crash at every single one of those spawn points. It will put a lot of strain on the game in terms of spawning them in and all the loot that spawn would spawn in them with them as well. And we simply don't, you know, we simply don't need to do that. So the first thing we really want to do is, is just reduce this number of potential places for static helicopter crashes. So let's say we want 10. So we want 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10. So we're going to get rid of all the others. Also remember, on your server, even if you've got, say, 60 people trying to spawn in, they're not all going to be spawning in at the same time. So you can have less positions. So let's get rid of that. So now we've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've only got 10 potential places for helicopters to crash. And so what we want to do is if we just take that all those positions we just copy that and then we go over to the player spawns and we just copy this over the top paste this over the top of all of these so now we've only got 10 possible places where players would spawn however as things are at the moment there's still the the, the, the helicopter crash is still a random event and you normally only get three maximum helicopter crashes on a map at any one time so even with this method there's a chance that you're going to spawn in and there's going to be no helicopter crash there or there wouldn't be any car crash there so let's just save these files so what we want to do now if you want to go somewhere else so if we go back to our file directory and then we go back to the db DB uh, folder. There's a couple of files we're going to look at. The first one is events. So we're going to download the event file. And then we're also, if I remember rightly, and I might have got this wrong, we're going to download the types file. Let me think. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're going to look. Okay, so. so let's open. So let's open up the events file. So the events file controls how many of a certain thing will spawn in, um, like helicopter crashes or cars or hens or zombies, all that sort of stuff. Very powerful file, this. So if we find a heli, we can see, if we start reading this, so we've got event static helicopter crash. So normally there's only three on the map. Um, so but we've got 10 spawn points, so we need to increase that to 10. And the minimum, well, we always want a 10 minimum. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a maximum of more as well. We're going to put a maximum of 12, just in case. Now, the safe radius as well we're going to play around with. Now, the safe radius and the distance radius, they're to do with um, when it's spawning them in, whether anybody's around with, with, the, with the helicopter crash. Um, so if you don't set those it could interfere with whether the crash actually spawns in or not I think it's sometimes it's sometimes to do with um, which spawns first like the player or the crash so you know we'll put that there the other thing we're going to get rid of in case of the helicopter crashes we're going to get rid of this line here that is secondary infected army you know, we don't want any zombies spawning in with us so let's get rid of that and then so we've got 10, 12, safe radius 1, distance radius 1, rest of it all is the same, fixed loop max. So now we've got two different helicopters at the bottom, so it, it will only choose one of these to spawn in. We've got the MIH REC and the UH-1 REC. The UH-1, that's the American helicopter that has the smoke coming out of it, and the MI-8 is the Russian helicopter. So what we need to do now as well is we can, let's just save that now file open items sorry types this is where I might have got it wrong I just need to check control F U H 
Oh, right, yeah, there we go. So we find the UH1. So as you can see, normally there's there's none of these on on the map. Whether you actually have to change this or not is a little bit debatable. Um, I'll probably have to do a little bit of testing to see whether you whether you need to do it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change that up to 10. So we're going to allow it to have 10. Uh, restock time is zero. The minimum is let's say it will start restocking them at 10 we'll, we'll do that whether you, again because this is an item that's being spawned in as part of an event whether you've actually got to change this value here not sure but we think you probably have to do especially when you do this using it using it with the cars you need to make sure that when the game tries to spawn in the, the car whether it be the sedan or the off-road vehicle that there's enough cars available to it so if it's trying to spawn in a car as as part of a uh, an event, but there's a, there's already say 50 cars on the map, um, and this would be the 51st, and the max is 50, then you know it's not going to work. So I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put that to 10, and then the other one we're going to do is we are going to search for whoop, control find. We're going to look for the MI8, which is just above it. So we're going to say, well, I'll tell you what, we can have 10 of these on the map. And we're going to have, we we'll restock them. Sorry, straight away, we're going to have a minimum of 10. So that the, 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 the minimum, um, that's at the point at which the game would start to spawn them in if it was going to. So we save those. And then what you would then do is you would then re-upload these files. So, for example, you would then go in this, you would go upload file. And you would upload your types and your events. And then you would go back to that folder. And then you would upload your event spawns and your player spawns. Then what you want to do then is, and this is especially with the cars, you need to reinstall the server. Um, mainly what happens, especially with cars, is once they're on the server and they're sitting there in certain locations, they don't like disappearing because you're probably going to use this mod in combination, and I'll put the links in the, in the show notes down below, combination with a mod that adds stuff to the boot of a car, for example. Um, you don't tend to at the moment we're not adding stuff to helicopters um, so always do the reinstall and what I'll do is I'll put a link to the show notes down below of how to do a reinstall on a server without getting rid of the XML files that you've done but of course in this case because we have the XML files here ready to go if we were to reinstall and get rid of the XML files um, it doesn't matter, we could just re-upload them and then start the server again. Just obviously bear in mind that when you do do reinstall, you shouldn't really be doing it on live servers where people are running around because they're going to lose all their progress and they may well get a little bit miffed. Hopefully though that's been useful and it's, you know, it's, it's quite an important concept this at the moment in Xbox and PlayStation um, Daisy um, server modding in the fact that what we what we're doing is we're matching player spawns to known safe working item spawns in the map from the um, from the event spawns file. Um, that that's that's what's really important to, to kind of understand. Hopefully, maybe within the next few weeks, we'll have the ability to create custom spawns for things like cars and things like barrels or helicopter crashes, so that we'll be able to have custom spawn points. Say along the coast or around the northwest airfield things like this where you could not only have people spawning in but you could have items spawning in which is pretty much the that's the holy grail you know i mean the the, the ultimate one we want is we want the ability to control uh, what players actually spawn in with on their bodies but that's a file that we haven't got access to on xbox or playstation yet but what we have got access to is is everything else so I'm pretty sure at some point we're going to get to the point where you can have a custom spawn locations. We can do custom spawn locations for people now, but we can't do them for cars and items. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get there fairly soon. So you'll be able to have, for example, 20 spawn points surrounding the Northwest airfield 
and next to those 20 spawn points will be 20 barrels with an M4 in and a, you know, a helmet and some camouflage gear, that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more of the same, and of course I'll see you again soon.